people passing from the baseline. You better make sure you hit that drop volley well. Yeah, you also have to wonder, Dick, if that long five-set match against Piolini is going to have any effect. Got to be a little bit stiff from that. Or says he feels for at least two weeks out of every year more British than German. That's how much he loves this Wimbledon experience, how important it's been to his uh, total life. Double fault to break point and a chance for a 4 1 lead for Agassi. Agassi's been crushing his second serve with regularity already, so he's forced to go for more. Tried to serve that one into the body, but hit it long. Another break point chance here. Jeez. Good time to find your third ace. He's going to have to serve probably the best he's served in years if he's going to beat Agassi here in the 70, 75 percent range first serve. You have to win a lot of points off that first serve. It's a good volley there, though. <laughs> Certainly volleying better than I've seen in the last few years as well. More punch, more sting on those volleys. And also getting down nicely for a big man. Extremely strong man is Boris Becker. Huge legs. Takes a while to warm those babies up. Game Becker. Agassi didn't agree. The call is ace, and so with a couple. My second serve. With a couple of aces, uh, Becker saves. It's three-two. Both players friends in the back row that's uh, somewhat rare usually it's split front row to back but they both with superstition felt comfortable back there so they're going to share strict superstition there. Three two Agassi with a break lead opening set. decided as you uh, saw early to play a little softball on Agassi. Also this slice short backhand is the shot he needs to employ. I mean obviously he got lucky there but that's a smart shot by Becker. He's no fool on these grass courts. He knows he has to change things up against Agassi. Obviously Agassi the more pace you want to give him the more he'll send right back to you. Becker doesn't mind pace either. Struggling against Leno and had lost him a number of times in a row. Don Budge gave me a call and said, try to come in right up the middle. Cut off his angle there, and that's exactly what Becker did to no avail. But that's not a bad play, cutting off the angle. And it looks like Becker's going to try that in this match. Smart play by Becker. Mentally, he's very into this match now. Good solid backhand return. Went after it and came over it. I guess he just couldn't handle it. 15 30. Becker's got to be a little bit upset on himself that he lost that first service game. He'd been up 3-2 here. This would be a different story. 
I guess he would have been feeling the pressure more. He's the guy that's expected to win now. He's feeling the pressure of being number one. Becker handing that early break to him. I don't think people watching on TV realize how hard it is to hit those shots. I guess he takes those shots off the baseline so easily. Becker with a couple nice forehands with some good power and depth. But doesn't have the quickness around the court that Andre does. Four two, Agassi. Ninety two. The champion now 95. Three years. Time does change one. Andre, can you draw any comparisons between between this year and the year you won it? Well, one of the articles in the paper this time said I was short, fat, bald, and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a difference. He was a long blonde hair three years ago. There has not been a match in this uh, Wimbledon where Becker hasn't tumbled a time or two trying to stop and change directions. I don't think there's been a match in his career at Wimbledon where he hasn't hit the deck at least a few times. That was part of the charm. Remember when he won at 17 and again the next year at 18 diving all over these lawns making plays. Well that was a slip but uh, he certainly has a propensity to dive as well although not nearly as much as we saw in the past. That body worn down of 10 years of playing the professional circuit. That's just a great return. That's just reaction. He takes the ball so early. He oh, sees the it? ball so early here. I mean, that is a big first serve. Not much of a place to put it, but he found the open court. Becker not to the service line when that one whistled by him. I always said Jimmy Connors had the greatest return of serve I'd ever seen, but this guy out here today, Andre Agassi, my opinion, has taken it to another level. Amazing returner. And because of his ability to return, Becker trying to put more on it and already has four double faults. Exactly right. And that's where it pays to hit those return winners. Now three more break points for Andre Agassi. See that Boris Becker staying back on his serve. Talk about respecting your opponent. I love 40 stays back. Two more breakers. I saw an article that was in the paper yesterday. He said, I'm not staying back on my serve. That's not my game. I got a bad bounce there. Agassi with another break and leads 5 2. Sunny, low 80s. Agassi serves for the opening set. That's what I would recommend Becker doing. Don't give Agassi any rhythm. Just come right in off the serve. Ground sugars don't like that. They like to hit a couple shots, jerk you around a little bit, and then pass you. I can tell you from experience when I had to play guys like Yvonne Lendl, they'd bury me if I stayed in the backcourt too long. Two good attacks by Becker. So it's a good reach on the forehand side here. He's so strong, he can just muscle that ball. Uh, relatively easy put away there. Bad news is he's down two breaks, so if he breaks here, he'd still be down another one. 
Boris has found only nine openings to now he thought that ball was long. Michael Morrissey from London in the chair. That machine's consistently not worked over the years. I can tell you that from experience. Now, why they keep going to it, I don't know. How do you know it's that machine? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm a little biased. I don't know. I don't see why they don't just have the guys call the line. Instead of saying, we're going with the machine. There's another good approach by Becker. So he's approached now 10 times on sec well, on uh, Agassi, and he's won six points. And now a couple of chances to get one of the breakers back. Second ace. And that's an example of a serve that Brad Gilbert's really helped Agassi with. Placing that ball better. And I guess he's been an excellent pupil. And once again, you see the placement on that serve. Catching the line, chalk spraying up. And just like that, he's back to deuce. Becker's so strong, he can hold this a little bit longer than the average player. He fooled Agassi there. Third break point for Becker. <laughs> Once again, good placement off that first serve. Got himself in charge. No real chance for Becker there. Titanium paste flew up. You always could say that so much better. You love though. that word, don't you? Yeah. Well, well, how did you say that? How? Titanium. No, no. You <laughs> say chalk flew up. You know, I, I give us one of those before oh. the day's over. <laughs> oh, you let's, get, let's get some old fo footage. I did it better then. My heart isn't into it now. <laughs> Boy, H takes so much away, doesn't it? In some ways. Staring at the line. Well, that ball obviously skidded on him because that's the first bad for him we've seen him hit. May have been a little late preparing, and that ball came a little faster than he expected. Becker likes to set up his opponent, opening up court up. Darren. His opponent to go to the forehand, he hits that running forehand well, but this time, I guess he with too much power. And his second set point. Becker down 2 5 is just uh, hitting out on every ball. Well, he's got excellent ground strokes. He's just not at the level, in my opinion, of Andre Agassi. He's one of the greatest ground strokers around, if not the best at the moment. That's a risky proposition. No! No! Becker mad at the call. Thought it was long again. Mistake again. See, I told you it doesn't work. <laughs> Cyclops that measures about uh, 16, 18 inches beyond the line and supposed to 
help out with those close calls. It's not always the machine. Sometimes the linesman doesn't see it when it's beyond the Cyclop range. Well, there's the set for Agassi, 6-2. Took 33 minutes.